Today, Saga and his friend Moshi decided to take me to one of their favorite amala spots to eat amala after I told them I have only had amala once in my life. We journeyed to this spot and I really had my hopes up not knowing what to expect. Are we there? We are almost there. On getting there guys, what I saw <laughs> made the appetite for the amala disappear for a moment. Now look left. What? <laughs> I'm not doing this. But I was very determined to have the Amala eating experience regardless. So they took me to another branch. Although the environment of the second location was a lot better, I still had my doubts about eating there. But I pulled myself together and went in. The long queue I saw made me even more curious to find out why there were so many people here. Yeah, you tell her. <laughs> what made me feel most at home was the very warm and kind smile from the servers. Then I saw an array of the Amala and soup boiling and I got even more excited in my spirits. <laughs> we eventually got served, paid for our orders and went to find some seats to sit down. And as the etiquette queen that I am, I had to ask for cutlery and serviettes. <laughs> Then the moment of truth came guys, I had my first bite and I realized why there were so many people at this particular Amala's joint. Yummiest Amala I've ever had in my life. From Moshi and Saga's reaction, you can tell Kwe, this Abula, oh do goni. <laughs> Then it was time to go, and this is my honest review about the Amoke Oge Amala spot. You guys, my second Amala experience was actually a hit. The taste of that Amala was so freaking bomb, right? Absolutely loved it. If you're ever on the mainland around Shomolu Axis, please pay them a visit. They make the best abula I have ever eaten. Thanks to Saga Amoshi for this beautiful experience. Bye guys! <laughs>